The word is forte, defined as a thing at which someone excels, with synonyms such as strength, skill, talent, and so on. It's also, you probably already guessed this, the name of a car, the Kia Forte. And yes, I said car, a word not heard that often these days in the automotive world, which is obsessed with CUVs. Well, this week we're checking out the 2019 Kia Forte. Now, it is a compact sedan, and unlike the midsize sedan segment, this one is not shrinking. In fact, it's extremely competitive with the likes of Corolla and Civic. Now, last year, Kia made a lot of noise with the Kia Stinger, which is our overall car of the year. Can they grab some headlines this year also, but with the Kia Forte? Let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, Introducing the all-new 2019 Kia Forte. Everyone knows that the customer has a preference more for the crossover, the SUV, however you want to call it. Uh, and that's definitely been a trend in the industry for a while. But the reality is the compact car segment is still the third largest one in Canada. I mean, there's hundreds of thousands of people that are buying in this segment every single year. So it's very important to all OEMs. It's incredibly important to us. So we're committed to this market. With the new Forte, the styling of the Stinger, the, the investment we've made in safety, technology, and quality in the vehicle is definitely demonstrates our commitment at Kia. The powertrain is our two liter NPI Atkinson cycle engine, part of our NU family member of engines. Offers 147 horsepower and 132 foot pounds of torque uh, and introduces our new intelligent variable transmission. As we all know, CVT transmissions or continuously variable transmissions, because of the improved fuel economy, they become very popular in the automotive world. Here on Motoring TV, it's a love-hate relationship. However, Kia has not had a CVT transmission until now. So our engineers really took the time to make sure that if we we're going to introduce a variable transmission, that they were going to take the time to make sure they were going to do it right. Uh, they spent a lot of time studying the different variable transmissions on the market and then made adjustments and enhancements to make sure that we did it right when we do do it. And this is our first iteration of it. You know, a nice size trunk on this compact Forte and inside lots of room for four people. And you know, you look around the dash, the gear shift, the air vents and it really has that stinger feel, which I think is a good thing. And of course, you've got to stay connected. So it has CarPlay and Android Auto. But you know, have you ever heard of the acronym FOMO? I just heard about it a couple hours ago. It's the fear of missing out. People actually fear leaving their phone at home. Well, Kia is talking about something called JOMO, the joy of missing out, put the phone down. My suggestion is this, live in fear all you want at home, but when you're driving, just enjoy. I'm really proud of this. You spend five plus years working on a project to actually see it uh, and unveil it and send it out into the marketplace. It's really an exciting time for me to actually see what I've been working so hard on actually get out into the public and then starting to see public response. And uh, yeah, it's like a proud dad kind of moment for me. The product is there, the brand is committed. We're growing, you know, we showed a slide earlier where we've more than doubled sales in Canada in the last 10 years and we have visions of going even further into the future. Kia says it has the power to surprise. But when it comes to the Forte, Kia describes it this way. It's a compact, not a compromise. Well, this new Forte is longer, it's wider, and it's obviously no stinger, and nor should it be. However, it's a good example of how designers and engineers offer features that trickle down from this showroom star, and that's a good thing. Now, as you know, I'm not a fan of CVT transmissions, but I think this one works well. And of course, you've still got that manual mode. And I also think the Forte is a good looking vehicle. Is it good looking enough to shake up a segment which includes the newly designed Corolla and Civic? Well, as usual, you, the consumer, will decide that. 